Hello world, welcome to the 104th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. This is the 8th video in my Twitter automation Tweepy playlist, and I haven't been using my Twitter automation as much as I thought I was going to when I first started, um, but I have been using it here and there, and I've managed to have about 1,100 followers. Uh, so I'm pretty excited about that. So like I said, this is the eighth video. Let's quickly go over what we've done so far in the previous uh, videos of this playlist. So in our Tweepy playlist, um, we have uh, we posted a tweet. We followed and unfollowed people using um, specific terms. We can go to a website and get some motivational quotes and post those all automatically. We created a we created a virtual t Twitter memory. That way we remember who our current followers are and we can um, make sure we don't post the same um, terms. So we have a collection of terms, uh, a dictionary of terms, and I don't want to favorite and retweet from the same terms. So we created a virtual memory so we don't repeat ourselves. Um, we can get trending topics. Um, whether that's in the USA or for a specific state or city. Uh, we can, oh, that should be get, get new Twitter mentions. So anybody that says, hey, at bjones6, please follow me. Uh, your, you know, your YouTube channel is the best ever. It's the best Python channel. Oh, thanks. Um, we can get those new Twitter mentions. And we can get our own profile information. And um, I'll leave a link in the description for this playlist. And also, we used a lot of this in a uh, tkinter, which is a uh, graphical user interface library. And I'll leave a link to that playlist in the description, too, if you want to see that. So in today's video, we're going to actually stream tweets based off of a specific term. Um, so let's go to Twitter first and see what kind of terms are tweet, um, trending right now. Okay, so here's end SWAT. Um, not something, you know, I just don't want you to think that's something I support, but uh, it is uh, trending now. So quite a few, uh, quite a few hashtags for that. Looks like a different country. So end SWAT. So we'll go through the code shortly, but let me just quickly uh, type that in. End SWAT. It doesn't matter if it's capitalized or not. And now let's um, run this program. Let me expand the console a little bit. Press play. All right, so that uh, topic is pretty popular. But as you can see, the tweets are coming in fast. And so I created a code that says um, this person, this user tweeted, and this looks like a retweet. So this is pure text right now. Wow, this is a pretty uh, popular tweet. And it will keep streaming. So let me minimize my face. And let's go all the way down. And there it is. It is streaming as fast as we could. Uh, we can't read it. It's that fast. Okay, so let me end that, and let's go through the code real quick. So um, let's start at the top. So you need to import tweet, Tweepy, and then um, I store my keys in uh, my own file, and then this is from previous videos. So you're going to do an authorization, so auth equals Tweepy, Tweepy, and then you're going to pass it the consumer key and consumer secret key. Now you have to sign up for the Twitter API to get these. Please watch this whole playlist because I'm not going to go through these. Then you're going to dot set underscore access underscore token. That's where you pass the access token and the secret access token. Then you create an API variable equals Tweepy dot capital API. Then you're going to pass it this authorization here and you've already passed it the token and we've added the weight on rate limit equals true and what this does is it um, 
if you bust one of the API limits and you don't know about it, uh, you weren't tracking it, this will wait for you. And so it'll just stop the program from running if you've busted an API and wait until you're available, until you have that API limit. So if you can only do 50 things at uh, every one hour, if you let the code long, run long enough, it'll do 50, then wait until your API limit is back. So, um, so the first thing you have to do, and I don't know why my webcam keeps turning off, but you have to uh, establish a class. So, and it's capital my, capital S for stream, capital L for listener. And then you're gonna pass it the tweepy dot capital stream, capital listener. And in that, you're gonna do a def on status. You're gonna create a function. You're gonna pass it self. Now this is what's called object oriented programming. I haven't really discussed that on my channel yet. So just copy this page, copy this code. And uh, then the status, right? It's gonna pass the status. Then we're going to print the status dot user dot screen name plus tweeted space tweeted plus the text of that status. Okay, then I created my own function called stream tweets and we're going to pass it a variable called my stream listener and we're going to um, call the class that we just did up here. And when we call it, it's going to get the status. Then this uh, my stream equals tweepy.stream. Then the authorization is the API. The listener is this right here, which is this right here. <laughs> and then you uh, are going to do a filter and do track equals no quotes. And then you pass whatever you want. So we did and swat and then you call this function. So I'll pause for a little bit um, and just leave this code up here for you to see if you want to copy it. And so I plan to use this um, in several ways, but one to get intel on a topic or to stream tweets maybe while I'm at a live event. So um, I think this would be helpful in like an emergency situation. So let's say there's an active shooter somewhere and um, we're somewhere I can use this program and stream like um, whatever my city is. So Shreveport shooting. And then as people tweet, which unfortunately or fortunately, however you want to look at it, sometimes that's our quickest way to information versus official sources. Or let's say I'm a public speaker at a big event um, and I want real time feedback on how I'm doing. So let's say I'm at a cybersecurity conference called, uh, I don't know, Cybersecurity 2020, that's the hashtag. I can stream these when I'm uh, giving a presentation and people can say, wow, this guy sucks. And then I can maybe modify it or, man, I really wish he talked about this subject like he said he would. Then I can quickly go to that and uh, I would have real time feedback. And so um, that's the ways I'm using it. So what it will eventually do is put it towards my, um, my what's it called, heads up display. And we're going to stream the tweets on my heads up display. So if I wear like a mask or whatever I intend to wear my own like Iron Man capability, uh, this will be on here. Or even just on, you know, format these different, these tweets so I can see them differently. So that's pretty much it kind of a quick episode this is uh, most of this is directly from the documentation this status is called an object so if you want to just Google let's do it together so let's go uh, so go tweepy uh, status object and you can see all the different so if you type in status dot created at dot id dot text whatever but as you can see this is what we used for the um in our code so user dot screen dot underscore name so i don't see that here huh this website's missing one and then status dot text we use which is the text of the status 
and that's these two options right here the status dot user dot screen name so this might be part of the uh, user object so with user is also not on here all right plus tweeted status dot text all right so I hope you enjoyed this video please remember to subscribe to my channel uh, leave a comment if you have some sort of social media automation that you want to show me post a link to your video um, thanks for watching goodbye world